Hi everybody, it's May 22nd. It is 11.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we are under attack. We are under attack. Most of the United States is under attack via frequencies, microwave frequencies, ultra-low frequencies, and Nexrad, harp, the harp rings. I have never seen our country so filled with harp rings, and that's not good. It's very dangerous. So, do you see all of these circles popping up? And I'm going to zoom in, but up here, uh, uh, hello, Carol, Michigan. Oof. Minnesota. I should apologize right now. I did not sleep at all last night. The buzzing was so loud, the high-pitched tones the closing off of one ear or the other. I got up periodically, I went on in telecast, and I could see the ultra-low frequencies shooting off very close to where I live. And I have not slept. So, uh, these frequencies can be used to control weather, to control a region or an entire country, the population. They can induce depression, anxiety, anger, apathy, fatigue, exhaustion. They can induce flu-like symptoms. They can keep you down. They can kill you. They can induce earthquakes. They can erupt volcanoes. These are ultra-low frequencies, these sharply defined fanned out lines. And I will say that we are absolutely under attack. I have never seen ultra-low frequencies being set off all over the country as I have in the last couple of months. And it is pretty much on a daily basis. So you can see the ultra-low frequencies very clearly in the precipitation. The areas where you see no precipitation, it does not mean that the ultra-low frequencies are not being set off. They are being set off everywhere. These right-angled uh, sharp corners, that is not Mother Nature. You can see the ripple effect in the precipitation from microwave frequencies. Um, I do want to show you some areas that are very concerning. The ultra-low frequencies being set off here in Idaho, close to Boise. The reason why I apologize, I'm I'm I feel brain dead, but this 
this needs to be known. And I'm going to show you some articles because I did get comments from some, I got comments recently, what are heart brings? Everybody's time period for uh, waking up, quote unquote, the level of knowledge that everybody has, we're all on different pages, so I'm going to link below to articles that you can click on and do some study. Why is it important to have this knowledge? It's important to know what ultra low frequencies can do, what harp rings can do, and back in like 2011, I did a lot of study under Dutch since. He was posting a lot of videos on harp rings and scalar squares, and he was predicting weather events based on what he was seeing. And Dutch since, can you take a break from the earthquake reading and take a look at what we are seeing right here. Maybe you'll post a quick video. I don't know, give us a, a, a brief um, basic tutorial. And that is unfair of me to even ask. I can't remember so much of what I learned. What I do know, what you are seeing right here in Nevada, these frequency beams, that is dangerous. The crossing of these beams, and as you can see, they are crossing. And where they cross, well, they can cause an awful lot of damage. So, whatever they are bringing about, if you can go on IntelliCast, even a couple of times a day, look at your area, and if you see something like this, and I can't remember the time period that Dutch since when he would do the videos on the harp rings and scala squares and make his predictions. Was it 36 hours? 42? 72? I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry. I will be linking to a couple of Dutch since's videos. Uh, but you can go to his channel. Dutch sense. The spelling is right here. You can come to his website. On the YouTube channel, I would go to the earliest videos. I don't know if Dutch sense was taken down. If he was and he only has earthquake videos on it now. Well, I'd, that's too bad. But you can come to his website and get an awful lot of information. Air Force creates storm with powerful microwave pulses from NEXRAD weather radar. And NEXRAD can produce these harp rings. So the crossing of these beams, uh, where they cross, wow, that is powerful, powerful electromagnetic energy and God you can't quote me on anything because my memory is shot but you can produce very high winds look at all of the harp rings here in Texas crossing over Arkansas and Louisiana. 
right here on the border. Austin, San Antonio, Houston, the crosshairs. So when you see this and you see Houston in the crosshairs, and I hate to say this, Houston, to you, but that could portend dangerous weather. Not what Houston needs, but you have intersecting harp rings, these concentric rings. You have harp rings down here with Brownsville in the crosshairs. Right here. They're all over. Memphis, the border of uh, Arkansas, Tennessee, Mississippi, that corner. You have another harp ring here with, is it Little Rock as the bullseye? Well, close enough. Um, Nashville, or another one in Tennessee. You have several going off in Kentucky. What the hell is going on? You have harp rings going off in Missouri. Right here which is Springfield area. You have harp rings going off in Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, New York State, Maine, Never have I seen it like this. So active. They are very active tonight with their weapons of war. Harp rings. Bullseye Halifax. Or a close proximity with ultra low frequencies. Canada, you are being hit hard with ultra-low frequencies. I think that they just have them now on. You have them up here, uh, north of Quebec. You've got them coming out of Quebec, out of Montreal, out of areas around um, Ottawa, St. Anne du Lac. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. And they seem to be continuously going off. In Stevensville crossing area. This isn't good, all right? Even if no weather event occurs, it is affecting all life badly. It's detrimental to all life. These frequencies are extremely powerful. You now, well now I see these ultra low frequencies being set off, off the coast, down the east coast. This is an ultra low frequency transmitter just off. Cape Cod. Here are concentric rings. Ithaca, New York. right here on the border of Pennsylvania, 
and Ohio. Last night, Pittsburgh. Or two nights ago. Harp Rings, Pittsburgh was the bullseye. And you have, I, I'm not going to go through all of the ultra low frequencies that are being set off. Just doing the harp rings. But, yeah. Guys, we're in trouble. We're at war. People go down. North Dakota. On into Canada. You know, when your brain is fogged, when you're confused, when you're exhausted, when you're sleep deprived, you can't fight. You're kind of brought to your knees. We also have beams, laser beams. off the coast of Virginia and Harperings, Virginia. Knowledge is important, so I hope everybody bookmarks Intelecast and other radar satellite sites. Check them out periodically. When you see this kind of activity, you know that something may very well happen in Memphis. and the surrounding area. And having that knowledge, you will prepare accordingly, appropriately. Now, I just want to show you the uh, National Mosaic. Okay, so Intel on IntelliCast, right? I'm feeling like hell. I've not been able to sleep. I see the ultra low frequencies on Intellicast last night. But where do I live? Anderson. And I don't see any ultra low frequencies tonight on the radar on Intellicast. So I go to National Mosaic. And voila, here we've got ultra low frequencies emitted from Greer, South Carolina. Well, this is Anderson. It explains a lot. And the frequencies, you can see, it's very clear. This defined line right here. And and throughout, but you don't see them so much heading towards Spart Spartanburg or east of Greer, South Carolina. They're more west of Greer. Ultra low frequencies are steerable. They can fan out in an entire circle or they can be emitting ultra low frequencies in particular areas. 
So the ultra low frequencies are going off right very close to where I'm living. They're also going off Columbia and you've got harp rings which are very clear right here and they're intersecting and it is it pretty much circles most of Massachusetts and then this harp ring engulfs some of Canada, Maine, all of life is being affected in a detrimental fashion and it's not good harp rings off the east coast of Florida which has pretty much been a steady uh, occurrence for the past week. Look at Texas. You're being bombarded. All right. Yes, what you are looking at is the United States of America under attack with harp, ultra low frequencies, microwave frequencies, radar. You can see the harp rings up here in what is that, Wyoming? Yep. On into Montana. Now, what I usually saw was clear evidence of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, um, though Idaho is showing the ultra low frequencies. Here is that the laser. Beam. which I obviously didn't get right in that. Let's try it here. No, but it's clear right there. All right. Um, I would always see it in Oregon, Washington, and then Montana, Wyoming, this whole northwest area. Well, I'm seeing less signatures of these ultra low frequencies being set off in the northwest. Now, on a regular basis, it's pretty much the eastern half of the United States and Canada under attack. Don't think that I'm some drama queen or I'm exaggerating. If you think that, then you're just, you've not done uh, research to give you a knowledge base to say, okay, you could list all of the effects of what you are looking at right here. I will link below to this article on Dutch census site and not sure if it's in this article but it's on his website I believe he posted a video about the US military acknowledging harp rings so Air Force creates storm with powerful microwave pulses from Nexrad weather radar, the pulses, and that's a powerful pulse.
And these are the ultra low frequencies being emitted. Plasma balls. That's another pulse. And you can watch this video, Harp Rings. Oh, I think this is the video where um, Dutch since mentions that the U.S. military, these harp rings created by U.S. military. If you want to know um, about, well, harp, very low frequencies, very high frequencies, very low, ultra low. Um, it's it could be the same spectrum or almost identical spectrum on the electromagnetic spectrum uh, very high frequencies radar and weather modification and on one page Dutch Sense has left you an awful lot of information even just on one page to understand the harp rings the radar, the Doppler, the Nexrad, the ultra low, and very high frequencies. Modifying the ionosphere with radio waves. When the ionosphere is manipulated, it shows as radar echoes. Here's information about where the harp stations are located. And that's from Jim Lee's site, Climate Viewer. Uh, Harp Basics from University of Connecticut. Isn't it interesting that we're living a time with so many Americans arrogantly believing that they're just so intelligent, and yet when you mention Harp, they will look at you, roll their eyes, call you a conspiracy theorist, and we've got so many universities that have their scientific papers on HARP, studying HARP, uh, Doppler pulsation experiment. Dope. Hey, man, dope. It's dope. Pulsating radar to measure before, during, after HARP type facilities operate. And Here, the concentric harp rings, the hole above the radar. Even if you just get a basic knowledge of what it is that you're looking at on radar and satellite sites, you will be able to better prepare yourself because your mainstream media meteorologists are not going to be giving you the information that you may desperately need. Now in 2011, Dutch Sense was looking at these harp rings. He predicted an awful lot of the tornadoes that were taking place that were killing people and taking out whole towns. So, I will link below to everything. I am so sorry to all of you who are suffering the effects of these frequencies. I know what it feels like. This is not fun. Not at all. And I hope that everybody can sleep tonight and do me a favor I don't ask for prayers but could you maybe just hit me with a prayer or hit God with a prayer not me <laughs> but yeah let me get some sleep tonight that would be 
very nice, and I would certainly appreciate it. Be safe, everyone.